Billy to back. Oh, wow. wow. What a... Wow, he's got the Busky one up and down. I don't like this oh, one there. Trade up, Odin down. That... Not psyched out. And you gotta believe, Hamshaw, he's been to the big dance. He knows how to handle the pressure. This isn't some, you know, dog and pony oh. act. This isn't a one trick thing. Sam Shaw is legitimately stoic and cold hearted and maybe dead inside. I mean, he barely feels that pain. He may feel it, but maybe it doesn't register as much as the normal man. Oh, what an uppercut. That definitely registered to Rob Locke, though. So you're saying he feels it the same way, it just doesn't process the same way. I, I highly doubt it. Wow. As I said, the expression barely changes no matter what no matter what he's doing, no matter what happens to him, the expression just barely changes. That can make you a very dangerous competitor in the professional wrestling ring. If you process pain in a different way that doesn't quite register, and now I guarantee you Robert Locke processing the pain of Sam Shaw. Sam Shaw's manhandling the leader of the trade. Eric Martin has yet to interject himself, so does Alec Oak. You know, I want to go back to what you've said in the past before. Oh, nice bulldog. What you said in the past, when somebody wears a mask, how it... It takes away from there. Oh, wow. That's creepy. You look at him looking at Porsche. He's but got eyes for Porsche. We've said that it that when you wear a mask, it, the, your opponent doesn't see your expression. But what happens when you have that face staring at you and there's no expression? When your face is a mask? Your actual face? <laughs> when your face is just staring. Yeah, that's that, that dead face just staring at you. It's creepy as hell. Can you imagine turning on the light and there's Sam Shaw just staring at you? Tag out to Alec Oden. Well, I'm, sure, I'm going to have fun sleeping. Yeah, Alec Odin's happy to have him, I think. He would have been left high and dry here. Of course, our prayers go out and thoughts go out to Pat Brink on the men. Speedy recovery, Pat. And no way, Eric Martin's a big man. Eric Martin stands about 6'3", 230. But you ain't going to match power with this muscle maniac that is Alec Odin. I like where Alec Odin's going stylistically. I like his confidence, I like his look. He's changing it up a little bit. He's really starting to step into his own and you knew it would happen. He's a long way from where he began as the sickness and I think he's gonna be a bona fide superstar in this industry, no doubt. Well, obviously, especially when you had a tag team partner in the form of Pat Brink, who, could, who he was there in, in FCW where he could teach Alec Odin all the tricks of the trade. Well, you can't teach that. You can't teach just brute force. No, that's earned. Yeah. That's sheer power. Look at the power. Oh, Samoan drop. Exactly right there. Alec Odin taking his time. Alec Odin feeling it in his veins. You know, before when Miles Hawkins failed to, to uh, progress in the Shane Chair Memorial Cup, and then Killian also failed, I wondered if the pressure was going to be on Rob Block and Eric Martin to take home the MCB Tag Team Championship, but now they have a, a, a new member in their ranks. Yeah, Brandon Scott, certainly wolf in sheep's clothing, no doubt. I'm gonna wonder if he's gonna feel the implications. Look at the athleticism on Alec Oden. Do you understand the physics, the, the strength, tendon strength involved in a man that size to be able to catwalk that top rope? Unimaginable. Oh, Eric Martin, I think his feet are almost touching the ceiling. It's a tall drink of water is Eric Martin, and that takes a lot of strength. Just sheer power from Alec Odin. Go for the cover. Good, smart maneuvering by Odin. Oh, two it's full, full body weight on the shoulders. Very, yeah. Very good cover. Didn't necessarily need to hook the leg when you got that much body weight dispersed. All that mass. All that mass. It takes a lot of oxygen to kick out of that lateral press attempt by Eric Martin. In comes the... Uneasy, the uncomfortable. I was going to say, that's got to be the best word because I can't think of one. It's, it's kind of hard to call Sam Schultz matches because he's so different. But he's very successful. Uh, you know, he's had so much success. Let's see if he can take off the titles. Beautiful belly to back. And the nipple. Oh, wow. wow. What a that, athlete. I did not expect that from Sam Shaw. Oh, but. Sam Shaw didn't expect that from Miles Hawkins. Oh, that stomp right to the kidney area. And then just getting hung up on the middle rope. Uh, they, they may have created a chink in the armor of Sam Shaw. Well, they waited for that distraction. That was incredible athleticism on the part of Sam Shaw. That nip up right seamlessly into the leg drop. 
where Miles Hawkins able to take advantage of the distraction and dropkick Shaw. Looking for the double suplex. The trade executes. Shaw refusing to stay down. Hooking the legs does Eric Martin. Two count. Oh, but look. Sam right back up on his knees, making sure that he doesn't get caught sleeping. Sam Shaw is now making his name. He was once on the independent circuit. He's returned now to the great promotions like MCW to once again show his expertise, show how he has attempted to master his craft. Show how he's evolved. Show how, he, how he's evolved. He's much different when he started out his career kind of as a surfer, kind of skater uh, character or individual rather. I don't think it was a character. I think that's who he was. And then again, I've been, listen, I've been to WWE, WWE developmental. Something will snap in you sometimes. <laughs> and I think that's what happened with Sam Shaw. That's not a slight to anybody who wants to take that route. Oh no, just, you know. You gotta have the right mindset. And Sam Shaw, he has made that, that twisted, twistedness work in his advantage. He certainly did, he made it very complimentary to his success. Oh, what a courtesy, kind of like Team Angle there, channeling with that Eric leap, Martin. That leapfrog. Over the spall on the back of Sam Shaw. Was that a loss of words, hooking the far leg. Eric Martin showing his athleticism. Rob Log, he is not a small man. You know what they say about being an announcer at a loss of words? It's not good. <laughs> Look at this hold, Eric Martin. Somewhat of a cobra clutch there. And see how he has his body weight distributed over the side of Sam Shaw, wrenching him in a manner, in a sideways manner that is compressing his left lung. And now Sam Shaw able to fight out, able to find some daylight. And Eric Martin able to take down Shaw again. The busky one doing what he needs to do to keep Sam Shaw on the mat. Not a lot of daylight, so this is a very, very effective hold on Shaw. Look for Shaw to start to fade. Just that lack of air going to the brain. I mean, Twisted mind of Sam Shaw. I mean, folks, you can't imagine at home if you've ever been choked out or had a lack of oxygen. It doesn't take long for the lights to go out. That's all, that's all Eric Martin would need. Just get him out for three seconds. That's all you need. That's it. Three seconds. Put him on the mat. Three seconds. One, two, three. Trey takes home the tag team titles. Can they capitalize? Oh, man. Rob Lock starting to enjoy the pain. Wow, who got the worst of that? I don't know. Got it, here comes the big man. Big man, big clotheslines. Oh man, he's fired up. Gotta love Alec Oden. Gotta love the intensity. Gotta love the raw power. And this is a big moment for Alec Oden. He does not have his mentor, Pat Brink, with him, but he does not want to let him down. Alec Oden is fighting to hold on to those championships that mean the world to him. He's fighting to keep his progress and that train moving forward of success here in MCW. Wow, he's got the busky one up and down with the power bomb. Keep your eye on Shaw. Shaw catches Rob Locke. Oh, here comes the rest of the trade. Oh, oh. Sam caught him. Got him. Well executed, well timed by Sam Shaw. What the hell is going, uh oh. Keep your eye on Portia. Oh, Portia, she's not afraid of anybody, even Sam Shaw. Portia. Oh, right, wow, right up in his face. Oh. I think you're out of your depth, hon. We know you're crazy. Yeah, you may have been up a little bit more than you could chew. You are out of oh, your depth, no. girl. God, where's he taking her? Shaw still got a championship match. Yeah, look, Alex is calling him in. He's telling him, you still, we still have this match. Oh. You can do it. Oh, oh my but, God. of course, Brandon Scott. <laughs> Odin catches him though. Look, I think Odin may have taken that personally, but Brandon's got turning his back on MCW. Yeah, Odin's here for the fans, you know that. But keep uh, your eye on the trade. They got the big man hooked. Oh, uh, I don't like this oh one. Trade up, Odin down. The head of Alec Odin slamming on the mat. Oh, but Mike here coming back. Oh. Uh, Wow, it's a full moon, I swear.
Yeah, you're